Good morning, Joe Walker here. It's uh, May the 8th, Wednesday morning after, wow. What a victory last night. No, I didn't stay up. Couldn't stand it after one overtime. Had to go to bed, but actually I woke up and uh, saw the news an hour and a half later and watched the DVR of it. So, but anyway, I'm out here on the 8th fairway. Been looking at this guy over the last few years and um, just wanted to show you some things. Needless to say, uh, these bare spots, we sprayed uh, the Bermuda grass last late summer and fall. And as you can see, some of it has taken a pretty good hit. Don't really see much coming up in here, but I'm sure there's a couple little things going. You look over here at this patch, and I, I'm pretty sure this was all brown uh, two weeks ago. But this spot's coming in, then you can see the peripheral of some of these other patches uh, right here. The edges coming in a little bit, and these other patches up up above the hill here starting to come in a little. So some of these are are too large. We'll probably go ahead and and uh, I'm gonna probably spray them again, and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and cut these out. This little spot here will only take a couple passes. But like something like this, we'll go ahead and spray it and we'll let the zoysia come in over there, those areas. We won't waste sod on that. These spots should fill in within a month. But one of the things you're seeing right now, we're having a large patch on zoysia. Probably the biggest outbreak I've seen since I've been here. Uh, we've been sp spot spraying and treating this curatively and uh you know from spot to spot i'm not sure everything that tom has sprayed but uh yeah it's flaring pretty good i don't think this spot was probably sprayed we've been spraying kind of all over the, the golf course we've sprayed about two or three acres basically of, of areas to try to slow it down one of the things we need is some dry weather and some warmer weather. It likes this uh, 60 degree nights and 75, 80 degree days, and it really makes it break out. Ultimately, it's not deadly for the zoysia as long as you've uh, made a treatment to it and stop. It'll usually stop it, but usually the biggest stopping for it will be the change of weather. Once we get up into the mid 80s and we start drying out a little bit, but. I want to show you this uh, eighth fairway. This eighth fairway was almost solid uh, baby bluegrass or baby uh, blue Bermuda that uh, the club had put on this years and years and years ago. They got the sod, I believe, from uh, Rams Park and put on this. And then when we converted to zoysia grass, um, when we converted to zoysia grass, the, this one did not get Roundup on it. So this was almost a solid carpet of of, uh, of Bermuda grass with some uh, zoysia mixed in. Probably was 50-50 except you just couldn't see it because the uh, Bermuda grass kind of crept over it. It's really a fine, fine bladed Bermuda grass. But anyway, one of the things we'll probably do is the swale. We do have zoysia down in there, but we'll probably go ahead and quit spraying down in the swale here so that the Bermuda grass can go ahead and live in there. And the zoysia that can survive will survive, but uh, we kind of got to get some grass to grow back in here, so we'll be leaving it alone and letting it regrow. These other parts, these other biggest parts, uh, we might go ahead and spray again, or we will go ahead and spray again and then we'll probably patch in uh, some zoysia grass. So those will be solid. Basically, we, we need to spray, we'll probably do one more Bermuda spray here in the spring. We don't normally do only one, so that way by mid-June or, or so, we've killed what we're gonna kill or suppress what we're gonna suppress. We've resodded all the spots that we need to resod, and then we're gonna let the Bermuda come back in some areas because that's just what it does. That's the thing it do. So anyway, but we've been so wet that we really haven't had a chance to spray, but as you can see the Bermuda here and then the Westwood Bermuda is really coming on in the area. So um, we definitely wanna be 
uh, getting on top of it, especially when we got solid areas of, of zoysia grass. And you just got a little bit of proliferation of Bermuda through it, like in, in this area here. You can see here, this is they're just little sprigs of Bermuda all through here. But if we take that out, then this zoysia grass will basically assume it, assume the roll, because it's the dominant grass in this area. So that's what we'll do all over the golf course, probably here in the next week or two when it when it quits raining. But anyway, anyway, that's what's going on today. 63 hundredths inches of rain about 1 or 2 a.m. So we were beginning to dry out. Man, we are wet again. We got the fairways cut the other day. Got most of the rough. We got some areas like over here in front of 7 tee box. We're going to have to start getting weed eaters. Walk behind mowers and that kind of stuff into. We just can't get the big units in there. It's uh, been a mess. We've got water weeping out of these hills uh, everywhere. So it's been a rough, rough spring for golf and a rough spring for trying to maintain. But more of the grass with the sun and warmth is really starting to come. The rough, as you do well, well know, is uh, coming on big time. So anyway, kind of a long video. A lot of things to talk about. We're uh, really making a push the next couple days to finish the tennis courts, get the lines down. Been working for days now in the swimming pool, um, getting patches done on uh, patches done where the uh, I'm drawing a blank here this morning where the plaster is cracked and where the plaster is broken up. Uh, putting tiles back in place, getting it cleaned up. Expecting to put water in it by about Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So we'll start to warm up a little bit. Uh, spray washing the deck. An awful lot of work going on besides uh, the 100 to 120 acres of grass we maintain all the time. So guys have been really busy on rain days. We've been busy doing other things. So, But anyway, have a great day.